Hope you're having a good weekend. I'm Tony Bruschi. Here's another Week in Review segment, some of our best segments of this last week. Want to weigh in on the topic at hand? You can call 24-7-888-5-KILLER, 888-554-5537. Let's go to this segment. This is an examination of the hidden human condition. This is the Hidden Killers Podcast. The Hidden Killers Podcast. With Tony Bruschi. In the small town of Moselle, South Carolina, the name Murdaugh has been synonymous with power, wealth, prestige. The Murdaugh family, of course, the once prominent legal dynasty that we've been following for you right here. They've been the center of scandal and speculation for years, even going far beyond the current generation. And now... In the midst of the ongoing trial of Alec Murdaugh, the patriarch of the family accused of killing his son Paul and wife Maggie, a new chapter in the Murdaugh saga is unfolding. As if it could get worse, right? Well, in the new Netflix documentary, Murdaugh Murders, a Southern Scandal, which you may want to watch, Paul Murdaugh's former girlfriend, Morgan Daughtry has broken her silence to reveal a shocking tale of abuse and cover-ups. Daughtry, who was in a relationship with Paul for several years, describes a dark and tumultuous relationship marked by Paul's excessive drinking and physical abuse. One night following a Christmas party in 2017, Daughtry alleges that Paul was driving drunk. When he crashed his truck, when she tried to call for help, Daughtry says that Paul hung up her phone to call 911 and instead called his grandfather, Randolph Murdoch, and his father, Alec. According to Daughtry, Randolph, Alec, and Maggie rushed to the scene to hide the beer cans and guns in the truck before the police arrived. That's one way to teach your children lessons, right? Just hide it. It's not the only time the Murdoch family has been accused of cover-up. Daughtry also recalls a shocking discovery made by the family's housekeeper, Gloria Statterfield. In 2018, Statterfield found bags of pills belonging to Alec, who had been struggling with an opiate addiction. Statterfield shared this information with Paul, but tragically, she died at the Murdoch hunting lodge later that same year. Hmm. Coincidence. The allegations of abuse and cover-up are just the latest in a string of scandals and suspicious death links to the mud that are all linked to the Murdoch family between 2015 and 2021. The documentary also delves into the death of 19-year-old Mallory Beach, who was killed in that boat crash, allegedly driven by Paul when he was drunk. Notice the theme? Daughtry provided 25 videos of minors drinking alcohol with Alec, and his family present, painting a picture of a family with a prevalent drinking culture. Daughtry's testimony offers a glimpse into the inner workings of the Murdoch family and the life of Paul Murdoch, a young man who, according to Daughtry, felt like a disappointment to his family and only received approval from the family's housekeeper, Gloria Statterfield. Daughtry describes Statterfield as Paul's second mom. And notes that Paul was close with Statterfield, who died the same year she found Alec's baggie of pills. As the trial of Alec Murdoch continues, the world watches and waits to see what other shocking revelations might come to light here. The new documentary series, Murdoch Murders, a southern scandal on Netflix, offers a real gripping and haunting look at the once powerful family torn apart by violence, abuse, and scandal. Does it provide any light into possible motive? I guess it depends how you look at it. You've been enabling and watching your son... physically abuse his girlfriend, hide him from getting a DUI when he crashes his truck, and then 
have to somehow defend his drunken actions of driving a boat and killing a young friend, Mallory Beach, and then stand there laughing as the police are trying to process the scene. I don't know. One may have a little anger towards their son. Paul's no longer around to obviously argue any of this, but the evidence seems rather clear on the kind of shitty human being he was. Likely a shitty human being that didn't fall far from the shitty tree. This is an examination of the hidden human condition. This is the Hidden Killers Podcast with Tony Bruschi. I don't want to speak ill of the dead, but you know what? If the dead are just shit, they're shit. There's no real way around that. 888-5-KILLER is our number. 888-554-5537. You can call it 24-7 and share your thoughts on that story. Be sure to press subscribe wherever you download podcasts. You don't miss any of our breaking updates and stories that we're covering for you right here. Tony Bruschi. Thanks for listening.